Po të shumë të falenërë i shumë a mësadorin Grenell, që sante ka arë në Prishtin. Thank you very much, a mësador. It's a great day for us, for Kosovo, for people of Kosovo. Thank you very much for what you do for us, with a new agreement that you achieved. It was a historical agreement. And thank you personally, thanks to President Trump, I believe that under the leadership of President Trump, we can achieve more and more peace, stability, and the final agreement between Kosovo and Serbia. It will contribute a lot for peace, stability, and cooperation in the western of Balkan. You are all is crucial, and I, again, I believe under the leadership of President Trump, we can achieve things. Ja nie jesteś oczywiście falendroi, no i nadal nie mam głosu. Ja nie jesteś oczywiście falendroi, mam się dość gęniem po ardei tu nie kosol, przy wizytę, że po nebem. No, na tym etapie jesteś oczywiście falendroi szom, przy marwejcie nie rejcie, kiedy mi arytur nie, nie widzę szipy nie, mam się dość gęniem, we uchęcie, nie pójdziesz mety prezydenty Trump, a te linie z aerowe nie sprzystinę z we Beogradu, my nie się oczywiście dziecka Ere, a e që të tje nuk kanë arritur të bejnë, e duke bërë amasadori Grenell dhe administrata shteteve të bashkuarat e Amerikës. Roli që bëjave në këtë proces është të jeshtë dhe konshur dhe i pa zëvensushum. Kam pesim të plose në ndi të shqipin e presidenti Trump. Do të arrim dhe të marrisha finale në mes shtetit Kosovës dhe Sërbis. E kjo do të indihmo shumë zhvillimit ekonomik, progresis, progresit, Pachet dhe stabilitetit. Again, thank you very much. Se përket që është të tjetër, natër se unë kam nominuar kandidatin për kërë minister, me kërkesen e ti, kërëtarit e partijës së par, ta shumbetet partive politike që të punojnë dhe ati personalisht të gjej partner dhe të bej shumisen e mjaftush me që të votohet në Kuvendin e Republikës e Kosovës. Ambasadori Grenell është ingakuaj special për normalizimin e raporteve Kosovë, sërbi nga presidentin Trump. Nuk është për qeshti lokale dhe të mbrenshme politike këtu, si kur që nuk jenë asni diplomat që të interferoj apo të bej presion që vëtë edhe ambasador në Prishtinë në qeshti të mbrenshme lokale, sepse është të drejtë të sesilës parti politike dhe zedhe, partnerin, pra da e ne do diskutoj për dialogun, do diskutoj për qeshtjet që e në mërënsi jetike të konsolidimit të shtetit Kosovës dhe kultivimit të prija shumë të relacioneve në mes Prishtinës dhe Washingtonit. Shtu që është jashtë agenda u lokale dhe elektorale kjo vizit, por është dhe agenda planifikimit të shtytis për parë të dialogut, për shkak përbesim të plotë. Për sëri e theksoj se në ndërshim në presidenti Trump do t'ja rritë. Thank you. I mean, 2020. And another question, please. Uh, do you have any preferences uh, 
The second question, no, I don't. <laughs> we, uh, first of all, President Trump has been singularly focused on trying to solve this problem by not looking backwards, by not just having the same old political stalemate and arguments. We want to make progress in this region, in Kosovo, in Serbia, on the economic front. Young people need jobs. This is the mantra of the Trump administration. We have an explosive economy in the United States because we've been able to tell government to dial it back, let businesses thrive, get out of the way, let people have the power. And what we're trying to do here is understand that these long, intractable problems uh, really need a focus of, of the people. You need to give jobs and economic development to, this, uh, to, to the people who deserve it. The people of Kosovo deserve to have new jobs and a bright future. And so what I'm trying to do is just look at all of the issues that have been stuck on the table that have economic uh, impact. And we're just going to wrestle them through. We're going to push both uh, the government and the leaders in Kosovo and in Serbia to say, look at the people, start moving forward with jobs. The business community in the United States, the business community in Europe, would like to come in to this uh, region in a bigger way. But you can't do that if there's conflict from the political establishment. So what I'm trying to do is look forward, push through on a whole bunch of projects. We've got a whole bunch of ideas that we're going to push through that will create some energy, some economic incentives, and specifically jobs, good paying jobs. That's what we need. We need economic development. And so again, President Trump has been focused on this by saying, when, when you have a vibrant economy, when you have people that are participating in the economy in a new way, with new businesses and better jobs, the political issues tend to fall apart because then people focus on their daily lives. That's what I'm here to do. Uh, I'm not going to get involved in, in the political debates. I think that's kind of looking backwards. I want to start looking at the problems that we've had and, and move us forward, both Kosovo and Serbia, towards a greater sense of working together for the people. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. As you know, we have to be tough on both sides. We have to push if we want to achieve success. Yeah, I want to see economic development. We've got projects that are ready to.